Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're asking the question, and this is a very important question. Do you feel safe working of a night in a cab? It's August. It's traditionally the slowest month of the year, one of the slowest months of the year. But the football season's here to save us. But the best money has always been of a night in the taxi trade. Through the night, the long hours, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, the big 12 hour nights have always been the best earners. But are you safe of a night? Do you feel safe of a night? If you're driving a hackney cab, you have that little bit of protection in the, the standard black hackney London cab. But a lot of drivers who drive hackneys drive saloon cars with no protection around them at all. Do you feel safe in that? We've all heard the stories about people get drivers getting robbed, especially in the evening times, late at night as well, when people are under the influence of drink and drugs. Even on Uber, Uber there's been incidents of drivers being attacked, beaten, um, late at night, again, riders under the influence of drink and drugs. But what's it like out there on the road, especially in the night? Well, let's find out. Being out on the road of a night time, it's tough, the hours are long, you think a lot as well, you think about your safety more than anything else, you think about your family back at home, you're thinking about your social life or lack of it, because these hours are very very unsociable working nights, and you wonder what the night brings for you. You wonder whether or not someone's gonna vomit in the back of your car after three jobs. You worry whether you'll make any money through the night. And you wonder what type of rider you'll receive, you'll pick up during the night. One good thing about nights though, the roads are quiet, get round much much quicker. But there's always the elements of risk on nights as well. Whether or not you'll make it home alive at the end of the night. There's always that risk. The risk is minimal, but the risk is there. Because it's just you and the car and nobody else around. If you're working on a base company, you may have drivers around, but they're quite a long way away most of the time, especially this time of day. But generally, it's just you and your car, and whoever's sitting in the back of your car with you, not knowing exactly who that person is, and what that person is capable of. You check your riders, you're always looking at the back of your riders, you're always looking even on a, especially on a hackney cab or a private hire, you're always looking who's behind you, who's sitting behind you, what they're doing. You get to know body language, you get to know how people react and think and look, but you're always uptight, you're always slightly keyed up, you never quite know what's going to happen. You try and keep cool and calm, but there's never a hundred percent that the night's going to go well. Always checking, always checking the back of the car, what the riders are doing in the mirror. Always doing that on nights. Just got a job uh, down here. It's the middle of nowhere. It's the middle of the night. And it's a rider with a 3.5 rating. The job is 140 pounds and I'm going to a place I've got a feeling this person could be a traveler because the job is up here you can barely see but the job is up there it's literally, it's a lane. And the rider is texting me every 30 seconds. 
it's up this lane here the name on it looks like a traveler to me but I've got another message then saying where are you man come on man come on man come on man what's going on he's giving me grief he's giving me grief on the text and it's up here it, it could be a caravan in the top of this road it's late it's it's uh, it's very very late at night and look at it there's not a soul around these i've had trouble before in in the past there's no another another message then i've had trouble before in in the past with travelers now this is uber so it's prepaid but i've had trouble before in the past with travelers with uber and it's prepaid because they wrecked the car last time they, they were in plus the fact that they were trying to I think they were trying to entice me to a fight now if someone offers me out I'm not gonna back down but when there's four lads four big strong strapping lads and me there's not a lot of chance I've got against them plus the fact that these these lads drink for England as well I'm literally down this lane I'm now at a point where I can't turn around because this lane is so narrow I can't turn around with the rating being so low they've, they've caused trouble before but I'm now in in a point of I can't turn around so I've got to go up and sort of meet them if it's one person then it, I don't mind but if there's a group here literally in the middle of nowhere then I I, I don't I don't know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna say I'm I don't know what I'm gonna face and there's nobody around here for miles this is one of the reasons by working of a night you are vulnerable there's only me here there's nobody being an uber there's probably not an uber around here for quite a long way if i ring the police now bear in mind as well my phone connection here isn't the best you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna And the, this road now is getting worse and worse and worse. I want to. I don't want to do the job. I want to turn around, really, because I'm getting inundated with messages. So that tells me that these people are probably very drunk. It's just, it's just going, the road's getting worse and worse and worse. According to the, to the, to the map, I'm just a bit further up here, but this road is getting worse and worse and worse. I want to try and skip away from here as quick as I can. It's a little bit further down the road. I'm not going to do it. I've, now, now the, now the, the, the text of me names. The text of me name are like just offensive the, the text of me offensive names now okay and come on you you what's it come on you shit house come come on come pick us up your shit i'm sure maybe you've had problems before in the past you know what i'm gonna do it's up that top there i'm not gonna do it i've cancelled the job i'm now gonna try and get down and get out of this place
Take me home 